I'm going to show you how to take one of our melt and pour soap bases and make a cute little hand soap just using a few simple ingredients um, and some easy steps. Uh, so let me give you the list of things that you're going to need here. Obviously you're going to need your melt and pour soap base, um, but you're also going to want to get a cutting board and a knife or a soap cutter. Um, you'll also need to get a silicone mold, which here I'm using our six count heart mold, which is the perfect size, um, I think, especially for a bar of soap. Uh, you're going to need a skin safe fragrance oil. Today I'm going to be using the Cool Citrus Basil. This is a Bath and Body Works dupe. This one smells really good. I think it's perfect. Um, kind of a mild scent for a hand or a body soap. Um, you're going to want to choose a fragrance that has a low vanillin content. Um, anything that has vanillin or, or a lot of vanillin in it can actually turn your soaps kind of a, a brown color unless you use some sort of a color stabilizer. Um, we're not going to use any of that today, so I've chosen a fragrance that does not contain any vanillin. Um, you're also going to want to get a microwave safe container like this. Um, you can also melt your soap in like a pot uh, on the stove, but I'm just going to be using the microwave today. And then a spatula so that I can stir everything together. And then the last thing, which is optional, but I always like to use it, is a spray bottle with isopropyl alcohol. Um, this is basically just so you can pop the bubbles that'll form as you pour the fragrance, I'm sorry, not the fragrance, the soap into the molds. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to show you the first steps here. Okay, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to cut your uh, soap base into about half an inch cubes. So I'm just going to slice some up. Um, these little heart molds that I'm using can hold about 3.2 ounces um, in each cavity. So in total, I'm going to weigh out about um, 20 ounces of the soap base. Um, so I didn't mention this before, but you do need to get a digital scale so you can measure out both your uh, soap and your fragrance oil. So I'm gonna put that over here to the side and I'm just gonna use my little uh, microwave safe container and throw all of these little cubes in there that I'm chopping up. turn my scale on so that I can measure everything. Let me kind of move this over so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, so I've got some of my cubes. I'm just going to measure this as I go so I don't end up cutting too much. But as you can see, I'm just cutting off little slivers and then cutting those in half and then cutting them into about half inch wide cubes. Cutting them into smaller cubes like this um, will allow them to melt in your microwave or in your pot on your stove a little bit faster and more evenly. Um, so I wouldn't recommend doing like huge chunks, otherwise you're going to have to put it in the microwave for a long time and it'll take a while. But I'm just going to do this until I have about 20 ounces of the soap base measured out in the microwave safe container. Okay, so as you can see, I'm right at 20 ounces on the dot, which is pretty much exactly what I'm going to need to fill this silicone mold. Um, so next, I'm going to take this uh, microwave safe container and go put it into the microwave and heat it up in 30 second bursts. I don't recommend doing it for longer than that. Um, you can burn the soap if it gets too hot, um, but 30 second bursts and just kind of stir um, to see if there's any unmelted chunks in there. Um, and just until everything's liquid. So I am going to go do that now. Okay, so now you can see that my soap base is completely liquid. Um, there's not any big chunks in there or anything like that. So we are ready to add our fragrance oil. Now you want to make sure you choose a skin safe fragrance oil. Like I said, one that has a low vanillin content would be best just so it keeps the soap from discoloring. Um, but I'm going to add my fragrance oil uh, at 6%, which is about 
an ounce per pound. So for my 20 ounces of soap, I'm gonna do 1.2 ounces of the fragrance oil. So I'm gonna measure that out. There, whoop, a little bit more. There we go, 1.2 ounces of the fragrance oil. And then I'm just gonna take my spatula, we're gonna move the scale out of the way and get it all nice and incorporated. You wanna make sure that you don't see any of that fragrance oil um, separated out, but try not to stir too hard. Otherwise you might create some air bubbles and you could splash it onto your skin, which would not feel good since this is hot soap. So I'm gonna get this all stirred up. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put the spatula over there and now we're ready to go ahead and pour into our silicone molds. So I'm gonna take this and I, I like to spray my silicone molds with the um, rubbing alcohol just to maybe kill anything that might have been in the mold. I did clean it before I made this, but it's just kind of another way to be hygienic. Um, also, if you have access to some latex or nitrile gloves, um, definitely recommend it if you're gonna be selling these. Uh, just practice um, good hygiene whenever you're making soaps, but if you're gonna be making them just for yourself at home, you don't necessarily have to have gloves, but definitely if you're gonna be uh, selling these or distributing these. But now I'm just gonna take my little pitcher of soap and start pouring it into these molds real slowly. Don't worry about the bubbles that you're seeing there. The rubbing alcohol will take care of that here in a little bit. But I'm just gonna fill each one of these cavities up nice and slow. Last one here should have exactly enough. I'm actually going to scrape my container here. There we go. All right, so as you can see, there's some little bubbles on the surface of these soaps. So I'm just gonna take my little spray bottle and if you can see, those little bubbles disappear just with a little bit of the rubbing alcohol on top. All right, so that's pretty much it for now. I'm gonna let these uh, completely solidify. It does take a, a few hours with molds this size, um, but once these have uh, completely set up, I will uh, come back and show you how to remove them from the molds. Okay, as you can see, my soaps are completely solidified. I can push down on them and nothing happens. They're completely cool down at the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna pop these out of the molds. What I like to do is kind of pull the mold apart like that to uh, kind of release the soaps a little bit easier. They get um, kind of sucked down in there as they cool. So it's nice to let go of the little air pocket that's down there. But as you can see, there's a cute little heart-shaped soap. I'm just gonna set that over here while I get the rest of these guys out. Now you can use whichever soap base you like. Um, I would recommend, or at least we personally like, the goat's milk soap like I used here today, or the triple butter if you're gonna use uh, make hand soaps. Those bases are really moisturizing, and if you're having to wash your hands a lot, um, those are just two really good options, but you can use any of the melt and pour bases that we have to make your own hand soaps or body soaps. But that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, just a few simple ingredients and a few simple steps and you can make your very own uh, little soap bars. Uh, we hope you enjoy this little tutorial. If you decide to make your own project using our products, make sure you uh, tag any pictures that you put on Instagram, uh, and use the hashtag Lone Star Community for a chance to be featured on our website. All right, that's it for today. 
Hope you guys enjoy.